Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we will be learning how to create an overflow menu for your android application. So a overflow menu is nothing but it is a menu which pops up when you click the uppermost corner of your screen. So in order to create an overflow menu for your application we go ahead and we select a new android studio project and let's say we name this project as my overflow menu then click next and the api level which we are going to select in this case is going to be the api level 21 then we click next and we are going to choose the blank activity and that is because we are going to add an overflow menu to this blank activity and as you could see in this blank activity right here we have the three dots on the topmost right corner of our screen and when the user clicks here he will be presented with various options to select from and depending upon the option selected by the user something is going to happen so basically that thing right here is called as the overflow menu and we are going to design the same so make sure that you select a blank activity right here then click next and let your main activity name be equal to main activity then we finally hit finish now once your project is loaded up in the android studio the next thing which you do is that we delete the text view right here and as you could see we are not able to see the overflow menu right here but the thing is that if you run the application now on the emulator you will be able to see the overflow menu so basically i am using the android studio version 1.5.1 and it has some rendering problems while displaying the layout screen right over here so you won't be able to see any overflow menu right here but when we are going to run this application in the emulator there will be an overflow menu so don't worry about it it is going to display when you run your application now the next thing which we will need to do is that we will need to give an id to this layout right here so as you could see this is the relative layout right here and we need to specify an id to it so we simply select the relative layout go to properties and find a property called as id and that is because we will be needing a reference to this layout right here so let's give it an id of let's say main view now once this is done the next thing which we need to do is that we need to design the overflow menu for our activity now the best thing about android studio is that android studio loads up everything for us so for example if you go to this menu folder right here you could see an option over here which is called as the menu main dot xml and when you click on it as you could see the code for the overflow menu is already present right over here now as you could see there is already one item present inside the overflow menu so we don't want that so we go ahead and delete this item and we add up our own items into the menu but instead of directly adding the items onto the menu the thing which we do is that we group these items together into a particular group and we name the group as something so that it could be referenced so before adding any items we go ahead and create a group so in order to create a group we type group then we type android checkable behavior equals single and what that means is that when we have multiple options inside the overflow menu we could only check one at a time so android checkable behavior equals single means that we could select a single option from multiple options available now once this is done we close the tag and within this tag we specify the items which we want to use so let's go ahead and create the first item so we type item and let's assign some id to it so we type android id equals at plus id and let's say we are going to create an application in which a overflow menu has options for three colors let's say red blue and green and when one of the option is selected depending upon the selection the background color of the activity is going to change so let's give this an id of uh, let's say menu red so we type menu underscore red now the next property which we specify is going to be the order in which this item is going to appear in the overflow menu so we type android order in category and we are going to specify the 
order for this as one so this is going to appear first in the menu and now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to add one more thing which is called as app show as action and we make it equal to never and one more thing which we will need to add is going to be the title so we type android title equals and for the title we are going to have a reference to a particular string so we type at string and we are going to specify a red string here so we give a slash and we type red string and as you could see it is showing us an error and that is because we have not yet added a reference to a string so we are going to do that in a few minutes but the next thing which we need to do is that we need to close this item and as we want to add two more items to this group we simply copy this item tag we paste it twice and we make some changes for example the second option is going to be for the color blue so we change this red to blue and we also make change here so we type blue here and we are going to change the order to 2 and final color which we are going to use is going to be green so we type green change the order to 3 and replace this red by green and one more thing which you'll need to remember is that the s for the show as action is going to be in small letters and not in capital so you make the changes accordingly all right now we are done so now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to add references to the string in our xml file so we go into this values folder and inside values we have a string.xml file and to this we are going to add references to the strings which we have just created so let's go ahead and type in string name equals and we use the string name which we have used here so we simply copy this go to string.xml paste it here and then finally name the string as red now we do the same for the green as well as blue so we copy this line right here paste it twice and make some changes so this will be blue this will be blue and change this to green and this to green as well so once you are done with this as you could see the errors have been removed now the next thing which we will need to do is that whenever a user selects an option the background color should change accordingly so in order to perform that we go into our main activity.java class and inside it we will we'll be having certain lines of code and the first thing we will do is that we will clean up this code so we will delete the code which we don't require so we delete the toolbar right over here and as you could see there is a method which is called as the on options item selected which is added by default by android studio so we go ahead and delete each and everything from this code right here and we are going to add our own lines of code to this method so the first thing which we will need to do is that as we are going to change the color of our layout so we, we get a reference to our layout so we type relative layout as that is a relative layout then we give it some name so let's say the name of our relative layout is main view so we type main underscore view then we typecast it to relative layout and then we get the reference by id so we type find view by id r dot id and the id of our layout is the main view so we type dot main view and once we have a reference to our layout so depending upon the option selected we want to perform some set of codes so in order to do that we are going to use a switch case so a switch case is basically a structure in which you switch to some code depending upon the option which we have selected so we create a switch here so we type switch and in this case we want to get the item selected from its id so in order to do that we type item dot get item id which is going to eventually extract the id of the item for us so depending upon this we design the cases for the switch so the first case is that the option for the red is selected so we type your case and as we want to detect the case for the red so we type r dot id dot menu underscore red so when we have selected the option for red then we want to perform some line of code or we want to execute some line of code and that is 
the first thing which you check is that if the item is checked and if the item is checked we set it to false or else we set it to true and then finally we change the background color so we use if statement so we type if item dot is checked if this happens then we type items dot or item dot set checked and we pass in false else we do the opposite and that is item dot set checked is going to be true and make sure that you end, end these with semicolon and the last thing which we do in this case is that we are going to change the layout or we are going to change the background of the layout so the layout which we are using is named as main view so we type in main view dot set background color and the set background color method is used in order to change the background color of our layout and to this method we want to pass the color which we want to change the layout to so we type color dot red and this is going to change the color of the background to red now once everything is done finally we need to return some statement so we type return true so now this is the case for the red option now we also want the options for blue and green so we simply copy this code right here and go ahead and paste it twice and we change this red to blue and the color to blue and we do the same with the third option so we change this red to green and we change the color to green as well now the final thing which we will need to do is that we will also need to set a case for the default case so for example if we don't have any of this option selected then in that case we are going to execute the default case so make sure that you also have a default case in your switch so in order to add a default case we type default and for the default case we return so we type return super dot on options item selected and to this we pass on the item so this is basically our default case and in this case we return the item selected and once this is done we are pretty much done with coding our application for the overflow menu and one more thing which you'll need to do is that if you are using the android studio 1.5.1 we have some problem running this application onto the emulator so in order to fix that we simply go to this manifest folder right here and we have a file which is called as android manifest.xml so we simply select it and the next thing which we do is that we right click in this gutter right here and we select show line numbers so as you could see on the 14th line we have the app theme set to at style app theme dot no action bar so we change this and we remove this no action bar right here and if you don't remove it your action bar is not going to pop up when you run your code onto the emulator so when you are done with this change you simply save the code and you run your application onto the emulator so as you could see our application is up and running on the emulator and there we have it our overflow menu so when we click on this three dots right here we will be presented with three options and we and when we select red the background color is going to change to red when we select blue the background is going to change to blue and finally when we select green the background color is going to change to green so basically that's how you create an overflow menu for your android application so thank you very much so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope you understand how an overflow menu is created in the Android application and the only thing which you'll need to remember is that whenever you are creating an overflow menu inside your Android application and if you're using the Android Studio 1.5.1 make the change which is specified in this tutorial to your Android manifest.xml and that is because if you don't make this change probably your overflow menu would not be displayed onto the emulator and also when you are designing this application when we switch to this view right here you won't be able to see any overflow menu right here and that is because android studio has some problem rendering the overflow menu so it won't be displayed here but when you run your application on the emulator it is going to pop up
सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस टूटोरियल एंड आई सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट टूटोरियल थैंक यू